W. B. Yeats, a renowned Irish poet, explored various personal and romantic elements in his poems. Let's examine how these elements manifest in four of his notable works, The Lake Isle of Innisfree, Easter 1916, The Second Coming, and Sailing to Byzantium. 1. The Lake Isle of Innisfree The Lake Isle of Innisfree reflects Yeats' yearning for a simpler and more idyllic existence. It conveys a sense of personal escapism and a deep desire to retreat from the complexities of urban life. The poem expresses a romanticized longing for the peacefulness and tranquility found in nature. Yeats' dream of building a small cabin on Innisfree Island signifies his yearning for solitude, harmony, and a connection with the natural world. 2. Easter 1916 Easter 1916 is a poignant and politically charged poem that revolves around the Easter Rising, a rebellion in Ireland against British rule. While the poem primarily addresses the historical events of the uprising, it also incorporates personal and romantic elements. Yeats mourns the loss of his friends who were involved in the rebellion, including Maud Gawney, a prominent figure in Yeats' personal life and unrequited love. The poem reflects Yeats' conflicting emotions of admiration, frustration, and deep sorrow over the sacrifice of the rebels, intertwining personal sentiments with the broader historical context. 3. The Second Coming The Second Coming is a powerful and prophetic poem that delves into themes of chaos, destruction, and the cyclical nature of history. It captures Yeats' anxieties about the turbulent times he lived in, particularly after the devastation of World War I. While the poem is not overtly romantic, it reflects a sense of personal turmoil and existential crisis. Yeats employs vivid and symbolic imagery to convey his apprehensions about the collapse of traditional values and the potential rise of a new, destructive order. 4. Sailing to Byzantium Sailing to Byzantium is a complex and introspective poem that explores the themes of aging, mortality, and the quest for immortality. Yeats uses Byzantium as a metaphorical destination where he seeks spiritual and artistic renewal. The poem reveals Yeats' desire to transcend the limitations of the physical world and achieve a state of permanence through his artistic creations. While it doesn't poses a conventional romantic element, the poem showcases Yeats' personal yearning for a timeless existence and his belief in the enduring power of art. In these four poems, W.B. Yeats intertwines personal experiences, romantic longings, and larger societal concerns, creating rich and multi-layered works that resonate with readers on both personal and universal levels.